Hello Techies, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we are discussing about how to configure Gmail for automation purpose. So directly this Gmail will not give you the connection from your RPA tools to your Gmail. So that's why we have to configure some settings inside the Gmail. Today we will see that one how we can easily configure the Gmail. If you are new to my YouTube channel, Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you in the future. Without wasting the time, we will see how we can configure the Gmail for all the RPA tools, not only Automation Anywhere, not only UiPath. In the future also, if you are getting any new tools, for that purpose, how we can configure the Gmail to extract the data from the mail or to send the mail to someone from the Gmail. So everything we will see in one single video so directly we will go to our mail so what you have to do you have to open your mail gmail in the chrome or any other browser so then in the top right hand corner you will see the setting so click on the setting and go to see all settings to send the gmail the first setting is you have to go to forwarding pop or imac see for Gmail purpose, we will use a IMAP ports. Okay, so IMAP port and server we will use it. So that's why we have to enable first your own Gmail or which one you want to automate, right? That one. So you have to go to that particular Gmail window and go to the settings and forwarding and pop up or IMAP this section. And you have to enable this IMAP. By default, it will be as a disable. You have to enable this IMAP section and click on the save changes. Once it is completed, you have to click on your accounts. In the top, you can go to the accounts. Once account is loaded, you will get a security tab in the left hand side. Go to the security tab and one of the most important thing is two-step verification. By default, this two-step verification will be off. You have to make it on. Just you have to click on the two-step verifications and you have to give some credentials, username and password, OTPs, then it will turn on. With that, you have to go to app password. So by default, it will be none. So go inside the app password because we are using a third party application, right? So that is different application we are using as a RPA tool or any Python or anything you want to connect between Gmail and your application. For that purpose, you have to go to app. So then you can log in with your password. So once you logged in, so you will get the option called app password select app and select device the first thing you have to do select app go to the select app and take mail because we are now connecting a gmail right not a calendar or a contact or a youtube so that's why you have to go to mail as a app and select devices windows computer because every rp tool or any other tools we are connecting from windows laptop right so that's why you can go to Windows computer. If it is a MacBook, then you can go to Mac. So I hope this is very easy to configure. Please, if you're confused, please watching watch from the beginning. So you definitely will get a step-by-step -step guide. Okay, just go here, select device and click on the Windows computer and click on generate. So once it is generated, you will get a password. So this is very important password just copy this password do not share with anyone so after this video i will delete this password also don't try this one okay so just i will copy this particular password and keep it somewhere safe for the automation purpose in the next video i will explain you how we can connect ui path with a gmail and automation anywhere with a gmail so this one we will see in the next video okay this is very important concept how to configure the gmail settings for the automation so now 
our gmail is ready for automate so thank you very much have a nice day happy learning if you are new to my channel please subscribe to the channel and the, hit the bell icon to get first notification to you if you need any help regarding rpa please contact me through below description numbers phone numbers or a whatsapp or any other social media thank you very much have a nice day happy learning